Jeez, I hope this thing still works. It's been a while since I made a video. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on? By God, it has been a while since I've sat here out on this desk. It's been a cold winter, it's been a long winter. College is in full flow, no time to do anything, but I did manage to get an hour or two to spare to come out here and to share with you guys this box of Skaven that I just won. This is a big box, look at this thing, it's huge. So how did I end up getting this box? So one of my fellow hobbyists, Nerdopolis Prime, had a competition on his channel for hitting a thousand subscribers. Congrats on that, well deserved. In the competition, the prize was his Skaven army. Now I was thinking, hey, if I win that, it'd be pretty nice. I'd probably get a couple of clan rats, maybe an island of blood. Maybe a couple of guys from the island of blood, all starter box. But um, lo and behold, I won. But I couldn't have done it without the help from Idic Beer, so a massive thank you, Nick, for that. And uh, yeah, Nerdopolis sent me the box, so it arrived. Okay, everything's intact, very well uh, looked after, and I've sorted it all out. So thanks very much to Nerdopolis Prime. Make sure to check out his channel in the link below. He hasn't really been updating video, or he hasn't really been putting videos out a whole lot lately. So hopefully he'll get back into the swing of things, just like I'm wanting to do. There is a shit ton of fucking models in this. I mean. Let's just switch down to the table view. Right, let's have a look. Now I've sorted all this box out. Um, it came all like in one big kind of pile. But um, I sorted everything out myself and I know exactly what's in it. So I bought these tubs. So there's one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tubs. Is that everything out there? Yeah, and I have a little list of things. I made a little list so I know what's in it and what to talk about and everything. So this is absolutely insane. I was kind of expecting, like, if you think of anyone's Skaven army, it's a buttload of uh, clan rats and a load of the Island of Blood models. But by God, did he send me a lot of stuff. I am so appreciative of this. It is unreal. So, Nerdopolis, a big, massive thank you for this, man. Um, it's absolutely crazy. So, what I'm going to do is... Let me see. Make sure I have the right list here. Right. So, on each box of this... So, each box... Let me see. One, two... Yeah, we have four, three, four, five. Let's look at these five boxes first. Now... All these boxes consist of clan rats. 99% of them are on base and are all together. Some of them have arms missing, but all the bits and all are still in it. Uh, so each box of these has 35 clan rats. So if you want to multiply 35 by 5, uh, well one box has an extra one in it, so there's 36 in that. There is 176 clan rats. That is probably more than my whole Skaven army that I think I have all together. That is unreal. And these are all unpainted. Some of them are primed in black. Um, but other than that, they are in perfect condition. This is absolutely insane. So I'm not going to go through all these boxes because they're all uh, nearly the same. So you got lots of banners, banner guys, which I'm really happy with. Which is really awesome to get. So... That's a lot of clan rats to get through. I have a couple of plans in the future to do. The new, the new Skaven Battle Tome is coming out, which is going to be crazy. I'm getting it this Saturday, so make sure to keep an eye out for videos on that. Now, let's move on to this box. This is kind of like a little bit of a mixed match box. Um, we got a box mixed of Plague Monks, which I've been getting a lot of lately. I've got a lot of Plague Monks off eBay, and then I got... The Clan Pestilence uh, start collecting box. And now I have 10 more. And to top it off, I also got uh, 28 more uh, Night Runners. Now these, if you're not familiar with the Night Runners, these are the old models which unfortunately haven't been updated yet. They're kind of like the Skaven chimps, I used to call them. Um, but... I'm happy to get more, simply because I have an idea for these. I want to do a, a clan scurvy army, um, or a warband at least, and these guys kind of fit that pirate look, the old rough and uh, kind of roughed up tough guy look, 
uh, which suits them down to the ground. Now this box, this is the second last box. This is kind of a bit of everything as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower this camera a little bit. Because this is the box, these next two boxes are the ones we can kind of go over in detail um, a little bit more. I'm going to tilt my screen up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here, make sure I have everything in focus. Now, this is a mixture of everything else from HQ, or not from HQ, from Hero Models, and the character models to uh, absolute arse load, for the focus on this guy, of giant rats, which is incredible. Uh, did I count how many giant rats I have? I didn't, there's like at least... Like 50 of these, minimum. Which is absolutely crazy. Like, like there's a whole bunch of these guys on top here. I'm gonna make sure I get all these on screen. Um, which is insane, there are so many of these. And I have, like, like even right here, let me see, one of these boxes here. Um, I've been keeping a little tub of all kind of rats and little mice pieces to try and scrape together a big unit of giant rats which I don't really have to do now, I can kind of uh, loosen the reins on them a bit, I can add them to bases instead of just keeping them for parts so we got a whole ton of them and it also included is a little baggie of giant rats and the kind of smaller mice as well which is like I haven't even opened this bag I haven't even counted these guys, I've just seen it and it's like oh it's a bag of rats so, I can't believe this guy gave all this stuff away. I know it was a competition, but holy moly. So, there's way more of them. I'm just going to push them to the side now. And then I'm going to look into what I got for rat ogres. Now, the only rat ogres I have uh, right now are the Island of Blood Rat Ogres and Storm Fiends. Um, and the Island of Blood ones are nice, but you get a bit sick of them because they're everywhere. Uh, so, I have two of the normal ones, the plastic kit. And I also have one of the old school metal ones, which I'm really happy to get. Um, I haven't got any of the old metal ones. I have a very few Skaven metal models, so I'm really happy to get him. The only thing is it's going to be a lot of fun to try and pin this guy together. So that is awesome. More uh, Rat Ogres, especially if Rat Ogres are going to be re-released with new models coming up soon with the new Battle Tom and everything. And um, these guys aren't going to be available anymore, so I'm really happy to get them. So that's three of them. Now we've got a couple of special teams, which have I written down how much special teams I've got? Yes, I did. I got eight. Now these are kind of mix and match. Um, you have the warp fire thrower guys like that. Um, then you kind of have... I can't think of the name of these guys now off the top of my head. But they're all kind of like... Some of them are in parts, some of them are separated, which is fine because I have a couple of conversion ideas. To add into that so all together there's roughly like eight models of them which is fantastic because i really want to convert some of these especially this guy and um, for the clan scurvy for the pirate clan there we go yeah i want to try and change this into like a big gatling gun or something like that so we got a lot of them a lot of cool ideas going to come out from that now one of the massive surprises but well, probably the second biggest surprise, I'm going to say the biggest one for last because it's my favourite, is the old school warp lightning cannon. Look at this. This is awesome. And not only we also not only do we have that, but we also get, I think, it's, I, think I have three crew members to go with it. Uh, there's the other guy. I'm pretty sure these three are to go with it. Um, I have to look it up, but I think these two are definitely with it because it looks like they're pushing levers. Um, and this guy looks like he's, he might be in charge of the cannon. Because it kind of looks kind of important. So that is a really nice surprise. I'm only after getting a warp lightning cannon. Um, I've only kind of put it together the last few months. So it's great to get the old school one to add to the collection. Which is going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to painting that up. So there's one more thing in this box that I want to leave to the very end. This is the biggest surprise. This is the biggest one is absolutely awesome. So I want to go through the final box. Now there is a lot of cool stuff in this. I said there's a lot of cool stuff in this video, like a whole lot, but this one just, this made me over the moon. So we start off, we got a couple of, uh, I think they're still called Arch Warlocks from the Island Blood set. I think there's like maybe three of them in here. There's one, two, so maybe there's just two. And then we have the Warlord model, 
which is one of the nice Skaven models you can get. Everyone has one. There's another Arch Warlock. Um, so then we have a couple of Pack Masters. We've got one, two, I think it's just the two we have from the Island of Blood start. Oh, there's another one. There's three. So then one of the biggest surprises from the box was we got a couple of Pack Masters uh, that are not from the Island of Blood. So not only do we have Pack Masters, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's all of them. Seven Pack Masters that are not Island of Blood ones. They're kind of like they have like their whip and their tin catchers, which is unreal. I think one or two of these guys might be Plague Monks, but I don't care. They're Pack Masters for me, which is going to be awesome. They're going to fit in. With anything I want to do with rat ogres and the giant rats especially so uh, a hefty hefty amount of pack masters here so then we move on to my favorite clan that hopefully is getting a bit of love with the new release we got a couple of assassins I'm pretty sure this guy is an old assassin or a night runner uh, or a gutter runner and here we have another one I'm pretty sure this guy is an old school assassin model a metal one with the claws and the knife, absolutely love that pause, really cool. Um, and then finally to fit with that, look at this bad boy. What a surprise this guy was to get. Debt Master Snitch, or Master Assassin I think he's called now. I think this is a fine cast, I thought it was plastic because it's really kind of, not flimsy but it moves really easily and I didn't think fine cast moved that simple. But um. Yeah, I, I like I've been kind of keep my eye to try and get a really good assassin model off eBay, but they've been really expensive. So this guy is an absolute gem to get. I'm so happy. I can really boost up my clan Asian projects now. And then we have I can't remember the name of this guy. I recently just got him off eBay. Spine Tail, that's his name. That I'm using for the leader of my clan Scarvy project. I think I have him over here somewhere. Yeah, there's the one I got off eBay. He needs to be like stripped and everything. So I think I might just use this guy instead. He's already put together really nicely. So that is really cool. Um, an old school warlock. This is one of the older ones. I'm not sure if this guy has or if this guy was a character. But um definitely a cool model. A blast from the past. Uh, lots of cool details. I love the goggles on top of his head, the rat up on top and everything. So he's getting added in. Uh, and then finally, the final. Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. We have one more thing, one more guy here. Let me see if I can squeeze him on a base here. No, the bases are taken. We have a Skaven. I'm going to say Skaven for <laughs> the whole thing is Skaven. We have a Gracier. Which, surprisingly, I do not have a single Gracier model. I have the one from the Screaming Bell. I put him on his own base, but I haven't actually had. Like a Gracier model that comes by himself. So this guy is old school. He's definitely well worth getting painted up. Uh, and he can definitely lead a couple of units into battle. Absolutely awesome. Nice pause. Really old school looking. So finally, the last thing that was an absolute shocker. And I'm surprised he gave this away. If anyone recognises this guy. Anyone recognise this guy? This is the old Tankwell model. Now I seen this first and I was like, holy shit, that's Tankle. I was like, holy cow. He's he haven't been able to get him for a while. If you want to get him on eBay, he's really expensive. Um I have the newer one all painted up, which I absolutely love, but when I was seeing the old school one in the box, I was like, holy shit, now we're talking. And I was thinking, no way is Bone Ripper win. No way. Lo and behold, he's in two parts, but he's here. We have Bone Ripper. He might be a bit hard to see because he's all based up. Um, it's kind of hard to see the, the metal models all together. I have the base part here as well. So this is going to be a lot of fun to try and pin and keep together. Because the base part here, or the bottom of his body, is really thin. But I cannot believe it that I finally have the whole, or the old school Tankwell and Bone Ripper models. Uh, it's unreal to think about all the stuff that I just got. So that was everything that's in the box. It is... I, I, like, I, no eBay loot is ever going to top this. No other competition is ever going to top this. He has basically given me... Like he said, Skaven Army. He literally meant all Skaven. Uh, roughly, not including the giant rats. 
there's roughly 248 models in this. Uh, 176 of them are clan rats, which is crazy. I think I had about 50 clan rats stored away somewhere, waiting to get painted for some other project. And I just added another 176 on top of that. It's oh, just mind blown. Uh, so a lot of good surprises, a lot of extra parts that are gonna be used for conversions, scaven conversions. Uh, look at the giant rats. We got a, we got a baggie of giant rats and that's not even half of the giant rats. It's unreal. So um, make sure to check out Nerdopolis's Prime, uh, Nerdopolis Prime channel. Make sure to check out his channel. Um, he's a really nice guy. Uh, hopefully he gets uploading a little bit more frequently. But uh, thank you very much for this uh, box. Um, like, look at the box. The box is huge. It came in this. Oh, God. So when I get free time, all this is going to be getting done up. So hopefully it'll be sometime soon. I praying it will be. But until then, hopefully you guys like this video. What do you guys think of this? Is this too generous? I think it is. I think we have to send that up Prime a little something to say thank you for all this. And... Um, yeah, there's, there's a spot of this out of the corner. There's a little box with like some of the uh, arms and the bases and everything. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of ho uh, this whole army. Um, when the new battle tone comes out, I'm going to add up roughly what all this costs in points. Just to get a rough idea. It's going to be amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm literally up to my eyes in models now. <laughs> I, my, model, my modeling days... Of buying stuff is done for the year. I purchased uh, the Carrion Empire, that's on the way, and the uh, Battle Tome. I know I have this, I don't need to get anything more. Just continue on with the Warhammer Conquest and it'll keep me happy. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, make sure to leave a comment below and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.